Scrolling through Instagram as a drummer, there are lots of crazy drum videos where drummers show off their really amazing chops. And today I want to help as many drummers as I can by breaking down some of these mind-blowing chops. Let's get right into this video. So the first drummer on our list is Aaron Castrillon, a very amazing drummer. If you're not following him on IG, make sure you go check him out. Uh, we're going to be learning a very crazy chop from Aaron. Uh, it sounds something like this. Now what Aaron was doing there, yeah, it was crazy, a lot of things were going on, but I'm going to break down this thing in segments, I'll make use of on screen text to help you guys understand this. So let's get right into this breakdown. First of all, we have... So, that's the first one. You get... You get so I let the second phase to it now. So we count like this one, two, three, four, one. One starting on the one. You get one, two, three, four. Uh. So now let's add the other part. So we have. Get. One, two, three, four, one. Hope you got that. So now I'll add the next phase. We have so we have now. If you don't have a stack symbol or anything or a splash here, you could just do that on your hi hat. You get. So quickly, let me just add in the last piece that we have. Now, Aaron had, you know, three toms up here. You get. So I just have to. So what I did was instead of playing it from this tom to this tom to this one to this one, I just played, you know, just here and then moved down here. That's the reason why it doesn't sound exactly like his. And besides the fact that I don't have a crazy kit like his own, so let me play the whole thing slow so you get it now. One, two, three, four. One more time. So in case you don't have a, 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 a stack symbol, I can play everything on my hat so you understand that it's actually possible. Let's put it up a little bit. A little bit again. So that is it. Well, take it for me. These jobs are not easy. <laughs> These jobs are not easy, I would not lie to you. So take your time. I myself, it took me a couple of hours to practice this stuff to get it well. So if you don't get it in one day, you come back the next day, you get to. So let's move on to the next one. So the next job we're learning is from this very young cat that is really, really amazing. I think his name is Simon Farms TV. That young man is really, really amazing. So what we're learning from him, I took it from one of his recent videos, it sounded something like this. So, what if I told you this stuff was simple but very fast? He had something like this, instead of it. You get as simple as that, so. I 
I'm on it. So, slow you once more. One more time, using up the speed gradually. So the third chop we're learning today is from the one and only Eric Moore. Now this is a very old video and I once made a video talking about how you can use this for flexibility exercises but I just really like it. It's something you can always use, you know, in shared, uh, play them as a job, you know, sound something like this. So, I don't know if I caught up to his speed there, but let's break it down. By the way, if you're enjoying this lesson, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. So, what did he do there? Quite simple, yes, but it's all about the speed. I seen it. You can play it four times, but on the fourth one, you add some extra notes before you crash. Sounds something like this. So one other thing I want to show you guys is something from EJ Fanning. EJ Fanning is a very, very amazing drummer. And I was watching a video of him and I stumbled into this idea and lots of drummers execute this thing properly But I saw him do it and it was just so flawless. So it sounds something like this So what he was doing there, it's not simple, I won't lie. So he had some crossovers So he had something like this You see, that was the first three notes So playing it together we have So it was basically a group of five. So but now how we play group of five is that we just repeat them. We don't count them like try to arrange them properly. We just play them over and over. So we have you get so let's build it from slow to fast so Please make sure you get this motion. So actually easy, you get. And then coming back to your snare drum is where the main challenge is. You get so. So that is for today's video guys, make sure you try these stuffs out and burn some calories and share this video with your drama friends and make sure they join you in the process. And let me know if there are other videos you want me to break down, I'll be in the comment section waiting for your suggestions. See you in this video, go check this video out, peace guys. <laughs>